raining a lot. Hey there, it's uh, Thursday, July 8th, and I'm heading into Rondana National Park. It's a really cool national park with some incredible mountains and peaks. Uh, the weather forecast is pretty bad, so I'm thinking I might get rained and stormed on. So I just hope the clouds will lift so we get the chance to see amazing peaks. If the weather clears, I'm gonna climb some of them. Uh, gonna spend five or six days out here, expecting to have a day where I just stay put, because Saturday and Sunday has a ton of rain coming down, and I have plenty of time, so I like to kind of stay put and chill out if the weather gets really bad. All right, come along and join me. It's a little bit of a climb to start with, but it's good to get up high quickly. Pretty forest. First trail sign. I'm heading towards Hergonden here, which is the peak, the darker peak in the back there, I believe. Maybe I'll head up there today, depending on the weather. It's a little bit sketchy with thunderstorms, maybe. Keep going and see. This is the home of trolls in here.
This is looking north towards Foldal. So this is from the left to right Storronden, Vinjelronden and Rondeslotte. Rondeslotte is the highest peak in Rondana National Park. Rondeslotte means Ronde Castle. trip but I won't go up there if there's chances of thunderstorms is Southern Uxle. I think that means Southern Shoulder. I'm making my own route over this and towards Hergonden. We'll see if it works. Weather looks a little bit ominous. rain out there sunshine right here
very cool mountain up here. Good camp here. Really cool. Glad I took this route. Sweet. That's one summit down. Plan is to camp down here somewhere. First this way. Pretty cool rock formations up here. started raining. Hope it's just a short storm on the forecast. It says it's only supposed to rain a little bit. On a different forecast however it says it's gonna rain a lot. So we'll see. Amazing views.
Here is, uh, this is Rondeslotte, peeking out. Amazing cloud formations. Shelter in here. Alright, I'm gonna continue my climb up to Hörgrunden. It's gonna be interesting. Hope the clouds lift. What an amazing place. Tiny break, catch my breath. <sighs> Climbing fast to avoid as much as possible of the bad weather.
summit now. This is the route that I want to do, following this ridge. Not today. Out here is the old setter. This is her Gronden, 2100 something meters above sea level. from down on that ridge down there. It's just looking north. to get down.
That's some dark clouds out there. Could have had much better weather today, but it's kind of fun to experience the elements. Gives a different kind of atmosphere to everything. You feel you feel like you're in the land of the trolls, which you are. I am. I found some shelter in the cabin. I think it's made for lightning protection against lightning. I'm not sure about that, but that's my hunch. I'm gonna head down and find the camp before the rain gets too bad and, and the fog moves in. for the rainbow. I'm taking this uh, much steeper route in the scree down here. It's gonna save me a lot of time. If I can stay on my feet. Pretty gnarly. Would have been more fun if it hadn't just been raining. The rocks are really slippery right now. Oh well, I'm saving several kilometers. This is actually marked as a route on my all trails map. So, very cool rock formations, layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. Rondane is amazing. As I said, I haven't been here since I was 19 or 20. Past the steepest part now. A few more spots down here, but I think the worst might be done. Pretty awesome place to come down, and here's water in the creek from the snow that's left up here. I'm just gonna go down into the valley and find a place to camp. It's 6 p.m. now, or 6.30. Somewhere in here is gonna be my camp. Looking back on the summit of Hörgonden. It's clearing up up there now. I came out that canyon there to the right and I could also have come down this ridge apparently. That would probably have been easier. But it would have been a long walking boulder fields first. And here is Rondeslotte. Totally covered in clouds. That's the highest mountain in the Rondana range. Maybe I'll see that tomorrow morning. Beautiful place. Some proper mountains. 
out here. This field right down here looks like a great spot to set up camp. All right, this is where I'm gonna set up camp. Somewhere up here. Pretty awesome. Got her gondon up here. Engulfed in clouds again. This place has apparently been used as a camp before. So I'm gonna use it again. Dark, dark clouds. That's some crazy light. Really looks like a thunderstorm. You can also see it scattering over the mountains here. But the one, the slot is completely clear of clouds right now. I could climb straight up this tomorrow morning if the weather is good. We'll see. A little bit of sunshine outside today. The weather forecast is pretty good today and then it's horrible for the next two days.
All right, I've started walking. It's day two. I'm gonna head up Lang Løpdalen, Lang Løp Valley, towards uh, Rondevatn. And today is supposed to be a beautiful day, but tomorrow and the day after, it's supposed to rain quite heavily. So I'm planning to find a good place to set up camp tonight where I can maybe stay put for the next two days. So, here we go. Up there to the right, you can see the gully I came down to get down into the valley here from her Grunden yesterday. is Rondeslotte from the side. That's not quite the summit. It's a pretty cool mountain. Here is her Gronden that I was on yesterday from a different angle. Gronde Slotte from a different angle.
another signpost. I might be heading towards the Rollsetter or maybe Gondelasbu. Out in this direction is the Rollsetter. This is the area that I looked into from Hörgranden yesterday. But I'm heading in this direction. Kinda looks like the Corsage Pinnacles in here. for a good way to cross this without getting wet.
ended up just walking across with my shoes on. Couldn't find a way to stay dry. But that's fine. It'll dry as I walk. It really is a fantastic day in up here in Londana. Much better than I thought it would be. So glad I did this trip. I was uh, really doubting if I wanted to go out because of all the rain in the forecast. And yesterday it did rain. I did have a fantastic day still. And today it's just been wonderful. Tomorrow is the big rain day with a lot of rain. I'm planning to just lay still. And uh, Sunday it looks like it might be clearing up earlier than uh, the forecast I checked before. So maybe I'll start walking again on Sunday. I'm gonna go over a pass I think on Sunday called Smiubelien, something like that. In front of me here you can see the sawtooth peaks, pretty impressive. And the weather looks pretty impressive too. Well, it started raining, it wasn't on the forecast, but you never know what you get up in the mountains here. This is a pretty cool place though.
raining a lot. I got my tent up now. I'm gonna try to get in, but I'm soaking everything up. Of course, just as I was done, it stopped raining for a bit. But now I'm soaked. Gore-Tex Pro for the win, not. I'm heading over that pass on Sunday or Monday, if it's possible. Some mountains around here. This place is called something like Long Bottom or Long Hole, actually. You can see why. This is looking back down the way I came up. Kind of reminds me of Wall Mountain in uh, the greater Yellowstone area. 